What's going on, YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at another video for you guys today. So, I was requested to check out this video. It's called WWE Wrestlers Who Play Horror Movie Monsters. This is from Tap Out Corner, so go ahead and check out their channel. Link will be in the description. So, I know um, Kane was in See No Evil. I've been saw that movie um, way back when it came out, when I was, like, becoming a big fan of wrestling back at that time. And so, yeah, but if you talk about movies in general, I mean, I've seen John Cena and the Marine, one of my favorites. Okay, what y'all say, y'all hating. Um, Ted DiBiase Jr. was in the next one or whatever. I think Randy Orton was in 12 Rounds 2 or something like that. Cause, you know, the, the Rock, he and everything. So let's go ahead and check out this one, though. And about a three, two, one. Wrestlers have been described as monsters, and some of them not literally. The in the spirit yeah. of Halloween, let's look at several monsters of the ring who became monsters in movies. First up is Santa Slay. In this movie, Goldberg plays the role of Santa Claus, but he's not your typical holly jolly Saint Nick. Oh, I it's saw that. I just didn't know that was Claus Goldberg. actually the son of Satan, and after being forced to deliver gifts and be an all around I mean, they say that's the original years, thing. He's finally of able Christmas. to return and start killing Santa's people. really Satan or something. Goldberg's shit. character is insane in this movie. First off, he makes his entrance in the film by busting through a brick chimney. What the that's fuck? That's awesome. On top of that, he rides around in a sleigh that's being pulled by a bison, and since he's an evil Santa Claus, his Damn, presence is Damn, a whole bison? Nobody's safe in this movie. Wherever Goldberg Claus goes, he just destroys everyone. Beyond just seeing an awesome wrestler on screen, Goldberg does perform a few wrestling moves. First, when Santa breaks into a deli, he performs a spear through a glass display oh. and rams the store owner into the wall. Damn. Goldberg also attacks a group of Christmas carolers and performs a gorilla press slam on one of them. Once Christmas is over, Goldberg's character loses his powers, so he boards a plane and heads to the North Pole. It's honestly kind of a fun movie, and Goldberg does a great job playing a dark, serial-killing Santa. Plus, the post-credits ending is just the cherry on top. Who's next? This next wrestler, in theory, is cast perfectly. In 2014's Leprechaun Origins, Hornswoggle plays, well, the Leprechaun. Oh, well that makes perfect sense. visit an Irish countryside, I never heard this movie attacked though. by a monster. The monster beats them up, but they do manage to escape. The group finds out that the creature that attacked was a leprechaun, and the local villagers sacrifice tourists to it. Oh, ugly that sounds leprechaun. awesome. Hornswoggle is an evil monster leprechaun, but just look at him. You can't even tell that's Hornswoggle. Beyond well, that, clearly. if you saw this monster, would you say, oh yeah, that's clearly a leprechaun? No, he looks more like a goblin or something. What's sad is that this is what the Leprechaun looked like in the first movie from 1993. Right, completely Imagine different. Imagine how awesome it would be to see Hornswoggle dressed as something like that. Back to the movie, the Leprechaun starts killing off the tourists one by one, but it's ultimately his lust for gold that's his undoing. The last character alive distracts the Leprechaun by throwing some gold coins in the air and delivering the finishing oh, shit. blow. This one isn't that great for a number of reasons, so let's just move on. I can see why. I never heard of it. This next film features a wrestler born to play a horror yep, movie that was monster, a good -ass movie. as Kane takes on the role of Jacob Goodnight. The yep, setup involves shit. a group of juvenile delinquents tasked with going to an abandoned hotel and cleaning it up so it can be turned into a homeless shelter. During the night, two of the teens Disgusting. start exploring the building until they get separated and Kane's character appears. His primary weapon is a hook on a chain, which he uses to oh, drag his get over here. into an elevator. He eventually starts Ooh. using an axe too, but I think the hook is more unique. Yeah. One cool detail is that typically before Jacob Goodnight appears, you'll hear and see some flies buzzing around as a sign that he's nearby. Jacob kills most of his victims right away, but there's a couple he holds captive. The Big Room Machine also has a sense of humor in this movie. One of the girls is trying to escape by being lured out of a window, but Kane grabs a hold of the rope and starts pulling her back up. <laughs> when she starts yelling to let her go, he smiles and does just that, causing okay. her to fall to her death. They're finally able to kill Jacob Goodnight after pushing him out of a window. Or do they? Yeah, that shit was crazy! In the sequel, See No Evil 2, Jacob's body is taken to a morgue, where it turns out he's still alive. Just like Kane did in real life, Jacob Goodnight puts on a mask and starts going on a killing spree across the building. He even brings out the hook and chain Oh yeah! Down. One, uh, time, Daniel Harrison is Jacob this off one? by stabbing him with a tube and pumping a bunch of embalming chemicals Yeah, into I think him. she was. However, that's still not enough to take the man down. At the very end, the last guy is trying to leave, only to realize Jacob Goodnight followed him and then gets immediately killed. Kane's character oh. isn't my favorite movie monster, but it is cool that we got to see him play a horror villain. Yeah, Technically, this cold. wrestler played a horror movie monster, but, well, you'll see. In Freddy vs. Jason, the two horror movie icons square off in the dream world. At really? one point, Jason throws Freddy across the room, and for a split moment, Rey Mysterio is the one underneath that brown hat. Yeah, the Master what? of the 619 technically played I Freddy I never would have known that shit. It's pretty short, and we don't even see Mysterio's face, but it is still cool that he got to take on the role of a huge horror movie icon. 
That's my boy. We find Freddy. another wrestler scaring moviegoers in the 2007 remake of Halloween. The star of the Excuse movie, Michael me? Myers, is played by Tyler Mayne. You may remember him from the wrestlers and Marvel movies video I did. No, where he played I just thought he was an actor. In case he needed a refresher, Tyler Mayne wrestled as Big Sky in WCW, where he formed a tag team with Kevin Nash. Returning to Halloween, Mayne is Michael Myers. Yeah, he scared the hell out of me. He's been Big tall in, ass. Grabs his iconic mask and starts terrorizing the neighborhood. The victims try to fight back, but Myers is pretty durable. In fact, he gets shot three times in the back, and he's still, still not going. dead. No. Finally, a gunshot to the head seems to do it, but in the sequel, Halloween 2, we find out that he survives the bullet. Michael Clearly. Myers and Jacob Goodnight must see the same health coach. Let me know which monster you- Me personally, top two, I'm going with uh, Kane and uh, Tyler. Like, seriously, like I said before, when we went to go see Halloween, Rob Zombie's version back in 07, his big tall ass scared the shit out of me when he went on that killing spree up in that damn prison slash mental home he was in and killed everybody in sight. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. That motherfucker, that motherfucker, he scared the fuck out of me. I kid you not. I kid you the fuck not. Like seriously. So his big tall scary ass scared the shit out of me. And I mean that. And then seeing Kane in See No Evil, I definitely was here for it. And then when See No Evil 2 came out, I definitely wanted to check it out. And then, um, wait a minute. Was Daniel Harris in there? Hold on. Let me ask somebody. I was right. Daniel Harris, one of my favorite horror movie actresses, was up in that hole. And uh, I definitely wanted to go check it out. So it was pretty good, too, for the most part. It scared the hell out of me. Have You know, well, kind of creeped me out. A little jump scares here and there. Uh, did they kill her character? I think they did. She was like bleeding the fuck. I, I forgot. It's been a while. This movie came out in 2014, so it's obviously been a while. But yeah, this was a cool little video. I never would have known that was Horn Squaggle underneath that ugly ass leprechaun uh, face and shit. It, it, like, it really don't even look like a leprechaun. It looked like a miniature zombie or something. Or like he said, a goblin. Uh, <laughs> hell, leaving a gargoyle. You know what I'm saying? I've seen some ugly ass gargoyles in my day. Like, I remember when we were still, I was still, we were still living in Chicago. And they had these like gargoyles. This one house was like a bunch of gargoyles and shit, like crawling on the roof. It wasn't like actually crawling, but it looked like it. And then you had like two big ass ones sitting in the front looking real demonic and scary like. And that was just all year round. It wasn't for no Halloween purposes or nothing like that. Just all year round. And I, every time we drove past that house, I just, I wasn't rocking with it. I wasn't rocking with it. I wasn't fucking with it. I wasn't fucking with it. I wasn't fucking with it. But yeah, that was a cool little video though. Um, and I never would have known that was Ray Mysterio that got flew the fuck back as a uh, freddy krueger so yeah but this was a cool little video you guys let me know what you think about it. if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button comment below some of your favorite horror movie wrestler uh icons whatever you want to call them and as well as anything else i can react to for you guys hit that subscribe button follow me on my instagram and hit that notification new instagram alert for my youtube promoted. channel follow that bitch see you all in the next video it's taylor rain and i'm out